Number one, the Las Vegas Raiders are looking for a new head coach. John Gruden is out as the head coach. He resigned on Monday Night Football. And, of course, this show is, is coming out on Wednesday morning. But it is still a relevant topic, one, because who in the world is going to take over? We, we've already figured out who the interim is. I'm talking about going forward as far as this, uh, the future goes. But second, this is just a, a troubling uh, idea in and of itself, right? Uh, Chris, let me go ahead and get your thoughts on this, and then uh, you know I'll jump in with, uh, with a few more things here. Yeah, man. I mean, it's just it's a little bit wild and, uh, and super unexpected. To kind of hear the news, it, it, you know, I'm not one of these people that's like, you know, wrapped up in in, in, in delicate clothing, and you know, I, I know people talk like this. I know people who talk like this. Like this is, you know, this is something that I'm around. I I, I don't say that proudly, but it's just it, it's the world in which we live in, and so none of this surprises me or you know offends me by any stretch. It's not nice to hear, and it's not appropriate things to say, and you damn sure shouldn't be shouldn't putting this up in company emails. I just find, I find the part that, that people, so this is what bothers me. So normally, normally I, I would have a, a different kind of feeling about this, but let me, let me tell you what I don't like. Well, I'm okay while he got taken down for this. And this is going to sound, see, this is probably going to get me in trouble by saying it, but I'm the guy that wishes nobody would send anything in company emails that's not company pertinent information. Okay? No, no, that's there's nothing. Up my email I, yeah, I agree with you. I agree. With you bitching and complaining and all this other stuff, okay? Let's use work email for work email things. Now, that doesn't give the guy a pass. It doesn't mean it would have been okay if he sent it from another email or a text or whatever else. But I'm just saying these guys are morons and they're the bane of my existence. Because these are the type of people that are clogging up my damn inbox with 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 thirty five emails that none of them are work related, but I have to spend time and energy sifting through them. It is so. So let's give everybody kind of the backstory on on how this even began. This is from the Washington Football Team data audit. I guess they're they're going through all of uh, Daniel Snyder's stuff. It's like six hundred fifty thousand emails that were unearthed in the investigation. And it was stuff that that Gruden sent to former Washington executive Bruce Allen. And there are, I mean, 650,000 emails. It, it was not just Gruden. There is a ton of stuff in there, I'm sure, between him and Snyder, uh, between whoever else. And these are private emails. Now, the question is, not, not even that big of a deal, right? But did Gruden send this from a you know, his own private email account, and it went to Bruce Allen's, you know, Washington email account. If that is the case, that's idiotic because he put it out there. Now, on the other hand, this is all stuff from before Gruden got back into coaching. This is all from when he was actually working at ESPN. So I I can understand having a relationship with Bruce Allen at that point to where you could feel comfortable saying whatever you want to, but this was... uh. This was this was crazy, right? Because we did hear stuff last week about some of those emails that came out talking about DeMora Smith. And after that, there's an article up at Pro Football Talk that says, one, it's time for the NFL to release all of the information from the Washington football team investigation because why on earth is it fair that they are going to single out one guy that they don't like? Which I didn't even know that they didn't like John Gruden. But yeah, I don't. I don't think anybody doesn't like John Gruden in that sense. I just think. Well, I mean, I think there's a lot of people that don't like John Gruden today. But yeah. you know, they singled him out because I think that's where the information came that was newsworthy. Right? Oh, agree. Like, agree. I'm a hundred percent positive if Bruce Allen had information from anybody else in emails that that would have been newsworthy, we would have found out about it. Well, I think so. Here's here's part of the issue. I think that. The, the first emails that came out had to do with him talking so poorly about DeMora Smith, right? All, all the, the racist stuff that, that he was saying in these emails. And after that, uh, there's another story from Pro Football Talk. Mike Florio put this out on Monday night, said League likely would have kept leaking emails until John Gruden was out. So basically, they wanted to get Gruden out of there so that they didn't have an issue with the NFLPA. 
I, that's that's kind of yeah. how I feel about it. And <laughs> and it just continued on and on. They said it was uh, homophobic, transphobic, sexist, and racist emails. And it was basically that the leaks were going to continue until he resigned or he was fired. And he finally just said, okay, I'm out. Because they, they couldn't suspend him. None of them were sent when he fell under the NFL's jurisdiction, even if he did. Like, there's no specific provision for the personal conduct policy that, like, this, it, it's a private uh, communication. It's a private conversation that should have never been under their jurisdiction to begin with, but these emails would have kept coming. So now I'm curious, yeah. all right, who is the next guy? Because I don't know if the NFL leaked the first emails, but I, I have a strong suspicion that they leaked the, the latest ones that came out, right? And it's it's terrifying to think about emails that you sent ten years ago could cost you your job somewhere completely different today. And I don't well, like. That. But hang on now, but some of, but some of this is context, okay? Yeah. All right. Like, and once again, I'm probably going to get myself in trouble trying to explain this or, or or say some of this stuff, and 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 I might be speaking way out of turn here. But like the misogynist stuff and him sending like. New text messages back in, or emails back and forth between with him and Dan Snyder with topless, you know, cheerleaders and stuff like that. Like, that's all fine. That won't lose you the locker room, okay? Because Agreed. everybody in that locker room has done stuff like that, right? That ain't losing you the locker room. So it's the racial stuff that that's why if you're Mark Mark, Mark Davis, you got to get him out, and you got to find a way to get him out without having to pay him the 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 sixty million dollars that you owe him left, okay? Because you you can't it didn't matter if that happened ten years ago or not. You can't walk into that locker room with with, you know, a seventy percent, you know, black workforce and expect to leave them ever again. You agreed, just you agreed. just can't. And yeah. I know it happened in a private conversation that nobody else should have gotten, but now all those players know what you said. And agreed. now they think they know what you think about them and now you you have to be gone. Now we have to do this get rid of and and honestly like see that's where i'm i'm trying to figure this out that email that that contained all of that came out last week right it, like early yeah. last week and then it just became too much and gruden finally resigned now i would imagine that davis is probably he's probably got him a golden parachute for gruden to get out of town right he he did not just walk away from all that money without a fight Without getting something in return, so Davis is probably oh, I don't agreed know. To something. I, I I don't I don't know that he did or not. Well, I mean, but Davis that, Davis didn't surprise me. Like he didn't fire he he didn't fire he, didn't him, fire. And he wasn't resigned or he didn't resign after the first emails came out. So yeah. it was just this overlapping like just a ton of stuff that piled on. Well, I mean, he after. didn't resign after the first email because the first email didn't come out until late last week, like real late last week, and they had a football game to play and. And, and and you just got to see kind of how this stuff shakes out. And then, you know, the weekend goes through, and that's when you feel how it all shakes out. And then Monday you realize, okay, there's no getting out of this. I need to just leave. All right, so This is going to ruin my life if I try and stop it and if I try just to stay for months. Yeah, so basically, like, I've already made $30 million off of this contract. At, well, 40 just, if you count this year. I, I doubt he gets the entire ten million for this year, but I, I would imagine he gets something. So, so let's just say thirty-five. Let's say he makes thirty-five million from this contract that that was supposed to be a hundred million. That's a yeah. pretty good living if you can make it. You know, that's not well, bad. Not not including the tons of millions of dollars that he got from ESPN, which was obscene because you know that he was the highest paid person at ESPN for a long time. Yep. And on top of that, of course, all the money that he made with uh, the Bucks, all the money that he made with yeah. the Raiders beforehand. Like he's he is well off. He ain't got no problems. He is going to go retire and sit on the beach. Uh, I had somebody, actually a listener from our show, hit me up last night and say, uh, or no, I guess on Monday night, and said, hey, do you think he ends up coaching again, or is this it? I said, there is no, no way no. that he gets brought back into the NFL. Like, possibly no, into college. college. But I don't, I, don't no. think, I don't think he can go into any locker room. Um, well, because well, I, how do you recruit? Yeah. I, how, how do you recruit? How do you walk into mama's, uh, mama's house? Why do you walk into dad's house? And look them in the eye. You can't do it. And you know, if he had taken the uh, if he had taken the Tennessee job years ago, he wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> well, that's not that's not necessarily true because the emails still came out, and now Tennessee would be dealing with it. Yeah, but would the emails have come out? Had yes, the emails would have come out. 
Well, I mean, we still got six hundred fifty thousand emails. Because Bruce Allen is still being investigated. Right, but there's there's six hundred fifty thousand emails. So it's so I guess the next question is, who in the world is going to pop up next? Because you know that there's more. Like if he was that. No, com- no, that's not. Hang on, that's that's not necessarily true. There might be more, but not everybody in the world shares, you know, terminatable fences in email to to their most senior boss, like. Who in the organization do you think was comfortable enough emailing the president stuff like that? Uh, agreed. Agreed. And I don't know that it was anybody at Washington, but I do wonder, uh, because it seems like he was comfortable enough talking about this with Gruden, that there would be some other people that may have said some things that uh, that were not, you know, n- not not very kind. We'll just say that. So that's, that's my question. What's next? Because it felt kind of like they singled Gruden out, uh, considering – None of the other emails have leaked, and and there's six hundred fifty thousand of them. So yeah, but I'm gonna bet. But hang on, think about how many emails you get a day, all right? And and how many of them have juicy information that actually matters? Because I'm gonna bet ninety nine point nine percent of Bruce Allen, a shitty individual. Okay, ninety nine point nine percent of his emails are all boring and stupid, and they're just work related bullshit. That's all they are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, so we the were fact talking that Gruden like, might be the only one that that doesn't that doesn't surprise me. Well, but remember, these are emails from you know some ten years ago, before anybody even really started doing uh, a bunch of text messaging and all that, where they felt like they could email and it not get out, right? So no, 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 no. no. Don't, don't act like text messages wasn't around ten years ago, Gary. No, no, no. It was. I'm now. just saying people were more comfortable with emails back then than I feel like they are now. There's a lot more ways to communicate these days than there was, you know, back ten years ago. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bet there aren't not that there's nobody, but I would take the under if you set any number of names that's not a ridiculously low number because you know I want to take the under on other names dropping. They didn't single group now. I think they found the when you when you hear somebody when you read an email of a of a white guy that's prominent in your league in your sport using you know racial jokes the way he was that's going to bring a red flag. Anybody else who's making those kind of off color jokes in the emails they're going to get flagged too. They didn't single anybody out. Yeah, no, no, I'm I'm not saying that it was all like a a bunch of people sending him racial stuff. I'm saying there is more stuff in there. I feel like there's got to be something from Dan Snyder in there. There, I feel like there's more that's going to come from this. So, And, and just to specify, I 100% agree that, yes, he should have been let go. It is a terrifying proposition that stuff from 10 years ago that you may not even remember uh, can cost you your job today, but it absolutely should and will. You know, it, it's, it's terrifying. It's scary. But this is the uh, this is the modern world that we are living in, where everything has a record, my friend. Everything. So, so with that said, everybody, you know, be be careful what you're sending if you're sending something stupid. So, <laughs> let's just say that. Uh, well, just don't say hateful ass shit. I yeah. mean, I say it all the time on this show, but I stand by most of the things that I say. I stand by all the things that I say. Well, yeah, you but know? you also don't say anything like that. I mean, it, we, no, we no, we never I don't criticize that. somebody for their race or their appearance. I criticize them for the jobs that they do. Yeah. Yeah. You are 100% correct. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.